Next bill under consideration is number Senate File 2416, Senator Latz. Uh, Mr. President and members, believe it or not, people are, companies are manufacturing cell phone cases that look like guns. It is true, and these aren't just ones that look like fake guns. They look real. If you hold them up in profile, and you didn't have the benefit of being right up next to it and see it was made out of plastic and it was fake, you'd think it was a real pistol or a firearm. This bill prohibits the manufacture, possession, importation, selling, holding for sale, or distributing a cellular telephone case, stand or cover, that appears to be a firearm, including a pistol or a revolver. Uh, members, someday some kid is going to hold up their cell phone case and they're going to answer a call and a nearby police officer or a nearby person who has a permit to carry as a firearm or someone who doesn't have a, a permission to have a firearm is going to react and they're going to react precipitously and someone's going to die. Uh, members, this is uh, a very simple bill. I ask for your support and I'm happy to answer your questions. Is there further discussion? Seeing none, the secretary will give Senate file 2416 its third reading. Senate file number 2416, a bill for an act relating to consumer protection, prohibiting the possession, manufacture, or sale of cellular telephone cases resembling a firearm. Uh, Senator Westrom. Uh, madam, or Madam. <laughs> Mr. <Watch Mr. it. laughs> <laughs> Senator Wester. I didn't see your tie, Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> You're Mr. forgiven. Mr. President, uh, Senator Latz, if he would yield for a question. Senator Latz, will you yield? He uh, does. Mr. Senator Mr. Wester. Mr. Pre Mr. President, uh, Senator Latz, um, my question on this bill is where, where do we stop on making something that looks similar to something, uh, a cell phone case, uh, next thing, uh, candy, uh, candy that's shaped in the uh, shape of a gun or some other uh, object. Um, and I guess I'm just trying to, I'm sure your committee pontificated a little over this, but uh, that's, that's my first part of the question. And secondly, uh, this seems to be a uh, kind of a slippery slope of enforcement. Uh, how you're going to, how we're going to start uh, deciding if something looks "quote unquote" similar to a gun or not. And so, uh, if you could just add a little more conversation to us as we decide on this prohibition of something that looks similar, uh, I'd appreciate that. Senator Lance. Uh, Mr. Chairman and Senator, uh, Mr. President, Madam President, whatever you want to be called, sir. Uh, nice tie, by the way. Uh, uh, Mr. President, Senator Westrom, um, I've got a picture here, and perhaps I should distribute it, um, of one of these cell phone cases. And it, you look at the profile, and this is a dead ringer for a pistol. Um, it doesn't look like candy. It doesn't look like anything other than a real live pistol. Uh, and um, where does it end? I guess we have to use our common sense, our rationale, uh, to, uh, to know that you know, some things aren't going to be appropriate to regulate and some things will be. Uh, but uh, for my analysis, uh, without a doubt, something that looks like this, a black plastic cell phone case that has, uh, you know, has a depth to it, um, that uh, you know, it's, it, it doesn't look like it's a facsimile, it doesn't look like it's fake, it looks from a profile like it's a gun. Someone raises it, you know, to answer the phone, it looks like they're raising a gun. Uh, so that would be the reason that uh, this, where does slippery slope end? I can't tell you right now, but certainly this ought to be included in our prohibitions. Senator Westrom. Mr. Uh, President, uh, Senator Latz, thank you for that. Um, and, and members, I guess that's, that's the discussion and I'm certainly uh, would be interested in others uh, adding in uh, where does the slippery slope start or end. In, in Senator Latz, I think 
maybe more, you know, in addition to that, uh, the, the, the picture you're describing is probably an easy, an easy answer. Uh, but what, what if there's not a handle? What if there's not a long barrel? What if things, where, where, do, where do you stop on the similarities of a gun uh, versus not looking like a gun? And I guess that's the, that's the issue. And now, as a consumer, why I would want to buy something that is shaped like a gun and take the chance of somebody uh, uh, thinking uh, in error that it, it was and, 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 you know, do something uh, that's harmful or, or would, would kill you. I don't know why you would do that as an individual, but that's, you know, that's, that kind of questions uh, the consumer's uh, rationale. But uh, Senator Latz, this is the issue I'm having a, l a little struggle wrestling with this uh, slippery slope that, that we're, we're on if we pass this bill. And uh, I'd be open and interested, Mr. President, and other uh, members' uh, comments and thoughts as, as we uh, contemplate this regulation and uh, banning of, of this similar type product uh, as, as we go forward. Senator Ingebrigtsen. Thank you, Madam President. Oh, it's Mr. President. Mr. President. Jeez. You sit, you sit close to him, I guess it kind of rubs off on you. I'm sorry, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. President, I rise in, in support of the bill, and uh, quite frankly, to the slippery slope reference uh, that Senator Westrom uses, this is actually stopping the slope a little bit, a little bit of the slide. This is, this is a good piece of legislation. I... When asked to sign on to this bill, I looked at that picture and I'm thinking to myself, as, again, as we're, the other life I come from, walking down the street and, and somebody going to their back pocket, which so often they do because a lot of people carry them in their back pockets, and that's the cell phone. And, and if this were pulled out at the, at the opportune time and, and were just simply taken out, it, it puts them and it seems to me a lot of people at risk. Now, frankly, this is a good start. Uh, those of you that have kids and grandkids know that we have squirt guns. We have, we have look-alike guns that we buy for the enjoyment of our own kids that if you put them side by side with a service weapon of one of the officers out on the street, you can't really tell the difference. We should have been paying attention to this long ago. Uh, and this is a good start. So thank you, Senator Latz, for this. Senator Newman. Mr. President, uh, to respond to some of the questions that Senator Westrom had, uh, I, am viewing, I am viewing this bill, uh, you know, in its entirety. I'm not looking at what might be coming down the, down the pike. Uh, I, I would draw members' attention to the, the various co-authors that, that are on this bill, myself, uh, Senator Ingebretson, Senator Limmer, Senator Hall. And I think that uh, as, as members of the Judiciary Committee and as uh, former police officers, uh, we recognize the danger uh, uh, that is posed by these, these cases. And I think that Senator Latz is appropriate in bringing this bill forward. I remember not too long ago, there was, I believe, a 12-year-old uh, killed by police who pulled out uh, a plastic gun that looked very much like a real gun. And uh, uh, there isn't anything in our society right now that is more common than cell phones. So I see absolutely no reason uh, why we shouldn't want to protect people by prohibiting uh, replicas uh, of guns in the form of a, uh, a cell phone case. So I would urge support of the bill. Thank you, Mr. President. Further discussion? Senator Senjim. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, uh, would Senator Latz yield? Senator Latz, will you yield? He does. Senator Latz, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I have one question as I ponder this, uh, and I will certainly stand corrected if I'm wrong, but it, but it is my understanding that a, uh, a person that has a concealed carry permit can carry either openly, under a code, et cetera, 
a, uh, in the purse or whatever, a, a firearm. Obviously, it's a firearm. But, and so that's, that's my understanding, is legal. Uh, but it would be illegal under this bill, and I'll stand corrected if I'm wrong, that you could not put one of these on your belt or anywhere else in your purse, your body, et cetera, under your coat. And I'm trying to understand why, why a gun would be legal in, in, a, in a cell phone case looking like a gun would be illegal. It's just, uh, it, it's sort of inconsistent, at least. Senator Latt. Well, Mr. President, Senator Senjum, I, I suppose you could carve out an exception for all those who have a permit to carry. Uh, but then you're going to have these cell phone cases circulating in, in our communities. Uh, and it'll be, it won't be long before they start showing up um, in the hands of teenagers who want to act a little tough uh, in school or have the ability to threaten uh, someone, uh, even if it's illegal for them to possess it. And I would much rather uh, not have to tell the parents of that uh, kid that pulled out a cell phone case that looked like a gun, well, you know, your kid was shot because he had a fake cell phone case. It was okay for you to have one because you got a permit to carry, but your son didn't. But these are out in the community. We can't stop their flow. Any further discussion? Seeing none, the Secretary will give Senate file 2416. What? Oh, I'm sorry. We already did take th third reading. Secretary will take the roll. The Secretary will take the roll. All Senators having voted, the Secretary will close the roll. There being 60 ayes, zero nays, the bill is passed and its title agreed to.